Okay. The second so. sword. Is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. Shouldn't you be leaving now? Um, you can't have the house. What are you doing? Uh, it seems like people I tell to leave never listen to me. The second sword. Is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh is the time of madness and disdain. We're back with the least Truth commanding witcher ever. On the black ones, economically. <laughs> Maybe he's actually gotten through this guy. Where is he going? Wait a second. You were supposed to leave, not go into the house. You know, you would figure that two swords and multiple scars and... Truth is, we're that, already dependent on the black ones, economically. That Geralt would be intimidating and would... All right, buddy. You can stay in here with the spooky sounds and all that. Um... You know, nobody, suck you by, bankers. Nobody listens to Geralt. Tells people to leave and they just... They just ignore him. Okay, anyway. Um, see how Sarah does with her uh, reluctant um, banker there. Or banker who's reluctant to leave. Okay, so now that we have... Seen Triss and um, gone through those uh, machinations there, and Triss recommended us to Corinne. I guess we can go to the uh, Golden Sturgeon and see what um, this... Um, I'm suspecting that Geralt is going to have quite a, um, an experience with this woman. Um, so, and he's not going to have any experience at all if I don't go in the right direction. It wants me to go... wants me to go down here. What is my mini-map? <laughs> I think my mini-map is having an experience. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Now the mini-map seems to be directing me in the... I, I just have a feeling this is going to be pretty... Uh, I don't want to say traumatizing for Geralt, but it's going to be weighty. Um, it's going to be impactful. Let's put it that way. Uh, I don't suppose you get into a witcher's head and um, investigate his dreams without some pretty serious consequences here. Have I been to this merchant? This isn't. Welcome. Welcome. After a while, they all start to uh, look to me like a Gwent aficionado. Now, I haven't said. All I've, I've never said anything like that before. Again, I'm getting back to what I mentioned last episode. I think some of these guys are going to be people I play for the Gwent quests. So I'm going to back off of Gwent just a wee bit here. But I do want to see if he has Cherry Cordial. And it looks like that's going to be... I oh know. Have I... Ghouls and Algols. I think I have. I think I already know that. I think I already know all I need to know about them. Yeah, I don't see water essence. I don't see any cherry cordials, or cordials, or, or cordials of any kind. I guess probably innkeeps are a better place for me to look for things like that, right? Okay, let's continue on our way. That. Wait a second. Is this? Um, oh. No, wait. That's a different... Is he an armor or a blacksmith? Ooh, this is a blacksmith. Interesting. Okay. Um, how much money do you have? <laughs> Need something sharpened. Reforged. Uh, I don't think you're going to be on my Gwent um, list, but... Um, and I doubt you can craft me anything that Hattori couldn't craft me. Um, so, you do have quite a bit of money, too. If 
First thing is you can take these swords off my hands here because none of these are of interest to me. So go ahead and I will sell you those. And um, 110, is that what you're going to give me for them? Uh, I could go to the armor and maybe get a little more for them, but let's just, uh, let's sell this stuff to you. Okay, and I still have a very serious carry weight issue. That is because I have about a thousand saddles, isn't it? <laughs> and I do still have this trophy. Interesting. Okay. And that trophy does weigh a little bit. I thought I gave that trophy to the uh, guard. Okay. Um, enhanced racing saddle, 45 stamina. Racing saddle, 40 stamina. Racing saddle. Okay, so these we're going to sell. And that we will put in our stash. And you still have 400 uh, coins there. Now, do I need to repair my stuff? I really didn't didn't get in too much of a uh, battle yet. Although these, um, those do need to be repaired. Okay. So there you go. We'll say farewell to him. Um, well, actually, you know what? Let's play some Gwen. Because I don't think he's going to be on my list. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. And um, cranking it up a little bit there. Now, I did watch the previous episode where I didn't know which card I uh, added to my deck, and it was a decoy. So let's um, let's remove one of those and let's start the game. And hopefully, he's if I win, he's got something good for me. Torrential Rain, Siege, okay, Blue Stripes Commando, that's nice, Zoltan, Siegfried, and a bunch of Siege. Let's see if we can, there we go, Vernon, let's see if we can get a Medic or something here. Oh, we're going to Siege and, uh, Kidwini Siege Expert there. Okay, nice. Now, it's my turn, I suppose. Now, what do I want to do here? Do I want to try to take this round and what is oh he's mon the monster deck interesting um hmm. yeah um what do i want to do here i suppose i could hit him with a little siege and see if he's serious about um tell you what let's um let's do this and and see see where he's at for this round Frightener. Okay. And, um, Bruxa. Bruxa. So that's a vampire, huh? Oof. Wow. He's serious about this round. <laughs> okay, then. So, do I pull out of this round? Um, do I decoy out? This guy's got a good deck, I guess. Um, wow, look at all those vampires he pulled out of nowhere. Okay. Um, although... Hmm, 26 to 6. I mean, I could even it up just with Burn and Roach. I could... I'll tell you what, we're going to give him this round. Is he going to pass? <laughs> we are definitely giving him this round. Okay, let's pass. Now, do any of those guys stick? Is there any... Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Okay. Now, who goes here? He goes first. He has passed. Okay. So... Uh, I am going to put down something to beat him, right? There you go. And I will pass. And I 
should get dealt a card, which hopefully is a medic. No. It's a uh, Quinford Reaver. All right. So be it. And it's my turn. Okay. No sense in farting around here. Get right to it. Arrakis Behemoth, which is going to pull out more cards, isn't it? There you go. Okay. Um... And they're sworn again on that row for some reason. Okay. <laughs> Ice giant. Okay. Maybe that's why, maybe because he's got a bunch of things he's going to put down on the siege row this round. He couldn't put them down the other round when I wasn't uh, playing. Oh no, they're going to pull out more too. More crones are coming, I think. There you go. Ooh, this guy may kick my butt here. That one doesn't pull out more cards, does it? It's penetrable fog, really. It's not looking good here. Lesson. All right, so, whoops. Let's see. Um, what we want to do is play my leader card, which is not going to be enough. So there you go. And he just shot himself in the foot there, but I guess it really doesn't matter. All right, well, I'll play that as well. All right, that's my second consecutive Gwent loss. Not good. All right, do you have to push me around after? I guess because I took all that coin from you. Okay, where am I in... I just want to remember where this guy is. Where am I in... All right, um, we're in the square. Wait a second. Did I... I've never been in here before? Okay. Yeah, we're in the uh, square below the, the armor there. We've got a blacksmith there. Okay. It seems like it seems like the armor has gone away. Why do I not have an icon for him? All right. Anyway, let's head to... Uh, let's, well, well, who's scaring my... Okay, uh, scary. Who's yelling my name? Uh, all right. Never mind. And we are heading to, what's it called again? The inn that we're headed to? Why is it wants me to go up, my mini-map wants me to go up here. This hopefully is. We have to go upstairs or downstairs? Oh, Went downstairs for Sucrus, right? If this is the the same inn we went to. Alright, this looks promising or not. Is this her room here? Just burst right in, girl. <laughs> okay, hello again. Good to see you not catatonic. Like you were in that house. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Dreaming, what's it about? You, um, okay, let's... Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. 
truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. All right, let's go for it. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? She Do just explained it. <laughs> I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. Are those some Gwent cards that you wouldn't mind letting me augment my deck with? I just lost two Gwent games and... And what is, is that a crystal ball? What is going on with that thing in the lower left there? What is that? Okay. I remember when we first met, I trained her at Kaer Morin, saved her life once. She was there when I died. Okay, so this stuff is all things that I'm sure Geralt has experienced in previous versions of The Witcher. This is the only one I can truly wrap my uh, uh, I know this one personally brain around if any of that that convoluted sentence made sense Siri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard I had no idea what to do with a young girl so I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin figured some physical training sword work development of her stamina couldn't hurt I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Um, I guess the more I tell her, the better the dream's going to be? Sure. Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. That's everything. I remember when we first met, saved her life once. Let's... Didn't he just say, well... I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the Waters of Oblivion, they failed in her case. Whatever those are. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Um, sure. Did somebody just open the door? Yes. What was that sound? No need to rush. We have time. Saved her life once. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Syria her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Siri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? And by the way, that's something that I should be able to do now, deflect bolts and arrows with my sword. Uh, I still have more to say, I guess. I have more to say. Then please do. She was there when I died, and that's when it he got Rivia. amnesia, right? The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For God's know what reason, race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but... Couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. 
He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. Siri is a child of the Elder Blood. They call her the Lady of Space and Time, okay. She had trouble controlling them. I would like to visit all of these once again. But I guess the Elder Blood thing is the most important, right? She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy when it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yes. Yeah, there's something else. <laughs> they call her the Lady of Space and Time, okay. They call Siri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Jennifer why. Who's they? She travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places. And that Siri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. She had trouble controlling her powers, okay. I remember Siri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Ciri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, Who I'm sure she'd have for another friend. Who do you mean? Um. Well, we know she didn't look for. Triss, because Triss knows nothing about her. And Yennefer, same deal, right? Yennefer's in Skellige, although it, it has to be Dandelion, right? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. Okay. She's going to knit while we do this. Interesting. And she didn't tell him to lay down, he just did that. Okay. That's her sigil, right? The swallow? She just saved Dandelion's life? Was that what that was? Chasing him out of that room? <sighs> Dreamt of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow, How's the knitting going? It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. 
Oh, wait, that's, that's it? Okay, I, th I take back everything I said about this being very, very impactful, but... Wait, I've, that's where my stash is, isn't it? Okay, let's... The Rosemary in Time? Where's that? As you enter the city through the Red Light District, you come upon a bridge. The Rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. Um, I expected a lot more from that. Huh. New quest, Broken Flowers. Okay, that must be referencing Dandelion. Yeah, um, that was majorly... Uh, anticlimactic, if you ask me, but, um, okay, well, never mind, um, I just, I expected, uh, what I really expected was I thought it was going to be one of those things where I started controlling Siri again, and started playing as Siri, and, uh, obviously that didn't happen. Okay, never mind then. So, quest-wise, what we have is we have Broken Flowers selected, right? And we're back up to double digits level requirements. <laughs> that's interesting. Let's look at the world map. I'm pretty sure the Rosemary in Time is where I... Yeah, that's where my stash is. So, all this... And that's not a brothel, it's just a place for vagrants. Well, anyway, I mean, I do need to get to my stash anyway and see if um, enough time has passed for uh, Hattori to have some and now that can I, I can't say now the other blacksmith is gone um, from there okay so let's um, let's uh, head to the Rosemary in time oh god a reaper's come for me <laughs> you're just drunk Relax. Oh, you know what? I want to I want to see if I can speak to the bartender here and see if he's got cherry cordial. Let's, I don't think I've tried that yet. What's going on back there? Are we in the process of? Oh, we're slaughtering that animal, huh? Okay. Let's talk to the innkeep. What it be? Oh, do I play? Do I risk playing guards? Uh, show me what you got. I, I gotta. Ooh, look at this! Look at this! What do we got? Redanian herbal, mandrake cordial, cherry cordial. Very nice. Okay, so now does he? He doesn't have anything else of interest, does he? Let's um. Let's say farewell. Farewell. And let's look. At alchemy, I should be able to make. I should be able to make white gall, right? I can't believe I can only make one. It's madness. But um, now, what do what? There's something I'm specifically missing that needs like albedo, I think. Um, and is this it? This is. Albedo, right. And this is, which one is this? This is Superior Elementa Oil. And none of these are... Superior Hangman's Venom is... Oh, Enhanced Hangman's Venom. I need that first. Um, okay, and Devourer's Blood. I would have... I've fought Devourer's, have I not? I guess I just didn't... Kibrith, Green Mold... Don't find much green mold, do I? Okay, so anyway, we can... Um, Albedo, I think the only thing I'm missing is White Gall, right? Where am I? Where is Albedo? That's Rubedo. Albedo. 
I am just missing, whoops, white gall. Okay, so let's make that. Let's make uh, white gall. Nice, and we, once again, uh, alcohol has to, I don't think, I, I always find alcohol has to, I don't need to. Now we've got a lot of things we could make, but um, we want albedo. And now, we make, oh, there's it down here in the oils, we make superior elementa oil. Nice, okay. There you go. And um, before I play Gwent again, I'm going to go ahead and save, what was that about personal hygiene? I'm going to go ahead and save the game. Okay, let's see if I'm going to get my butt kicked again in Gwent. If I, if I lose, if I lose this one, I am going to uh, take some time off from Gwent. All right, I'm going to risk it again. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I not thirsty, but I sure wouldn't mind a round of Gwent. I keep making it too tempting for them to kick my butt. Okay, I think the the fact is just my deck isn't very good. Oh no, Scoyatel. Torrential Rain, that is Siege Combat. I never end up using that. I'm probably going to dump that. Okay, so let's get rid of that first. Decoy, nice. A clear weather we may need. Got a Spy. Death Mold. Let's get rid of Kira. And we got more Siege, I think, on that. Opponent's turn. I have Brigade. Okay, so how do we want to play this? We're going to give him this round. We're going to play the Spy. Got this. And nice. We got uh, Yen. Okay, he's definitely pulling out some more stuff. Okay, so we've got three cards on him. We are going to pass and give him this round. Now, do, do any of those cards last over into the next round? No. Okay, good. Good, he gets to go first again. All right, we got to win this one. So, um, let's play Brennan. No idea how to pronounce that name. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. Death Bolt. He has passed, so I only need two points. Um, and, uh,. On the offhand chance that I get another Crinford Reaver or I get um, a Blue Stripes Commando and they augment one another, I'm going to go ahead and play Bess. And I should get her back with Yen's um, Medic ability next round. Okay, I get dealt another card. Right up, oh, got Siegfried. Okay. My turn. All right. It's all hands on deck. No pun intended. Medic. Okay. Spy. Now, we can decoy that, which I will go ahead and do, because otherwise... No, 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 no. That's the one I want to decoy. <laughs> otherwise, I have no use for... Um, a decoy. Give me something good here, huh? All right. Um, Sultan. Not terrible. Okay, so she's going... Unless he scorches me. We should probably wait, because he may scorch me or something. Um, right, let's put down you. Grinford Reaver. Pretty sure we're not going to get dealt anything anymore. Biting Frost, there we go. Okay, 
hurt himself as well on that. Let's put down Zoltan. Make it look like uh, make it look like we don't care. Okay. I've got to win this. It's um, he passed already. Really? Okay. Interesting. Not only do I have to win this, but I gotta win this soundly and uh, you know, really stick it to him so I feel better. I get back my 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 Gwent um, confidence. Um, death mold is more. There we go. Let's um, play my leader card. And then let's clear weather. All right, there you go. Beat him by 51 points. Nice. Feels so much better. All right, let's see what we got. 20 crowns and... Chillard Fitz Osterlin. <laughs> is that, um, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this. Is that, I have a feeling that that is going to be a, uh, I don't think that's going to be a Northern Realms card. There's no way. First of all, he was playing, um, he was playing Scoia'tael, was he not? So it must be... Can I tell? No. I just had a feeling it was Nilfgaard, but... Yeah, there it is. Okay. Oh, a spot. Ooh, that's a nice card if I ever... Tell you what. <laughs> I've got some pretty good Nilfgaard cards. What does Letho... Oops, that's not... I wanted to look at Letho. Uh, how do I... Right, uh, R1. Oops, nope. <laughs> how do I zoom? R2. So I zoom in. Not affected by any special cards or abilities. All right, that's not... I thought he might have some special abilities, but I guess not. Okay, yeah, I've got... I've got a pretty good Nilfgaard deck. Uh, he's got medic abilities. I've got Spy there. I've got a lot of special cards. I've got more Spies there. Nausicaa Cavalry Rider. I, if I had more of those, it might be worth it. So I have not, I don't have any of those uh, um, cards that pull. Oh wait, no, this is an enhancing card. I thought it was one of the cards that pulled more out of the deck. All right. Anyway, something to think about. We got uh, that was a good thing. I went to see that inkeep. That was definitely worth it. it was, that was more profound than uh, Dream Woman. I gotta say that. Go the, whoa, 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 what's that all about? He's, really, you're getting all, all right, so Hangman's Venom. Are there more of you? Because I do want to try the, uh, <laughs> I want to try the uh, Axie thing again. So, where's your, where are your buddies? Yeah, I drew my sword because this guy's getting all aggressive on me. Yeah, you do have more buddies. Okay, so let's get Axie ready. All right, so now go fight them. No, see, that's not how it's supposed to work. What is, why is he all dopey? You're, wait, wait. No, 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 this is not working at all. What am I missing here? Um, influences opponents' minds, right. So, influence them to, to attack one another. Um, okay, so now I'm just gonna practice reposting them. Oops, my coin went down. Did they? 
I thought, thought the fighting ended for a minute. Why are we not... Why am I out of combat all of a sudden? There we go. Now we're back, because I, I was doing Witcher Senses. I wasn't... Come on! Come on, what are you guys doing? Yeah, none of that. That did not go the way it was supposed to. Ah, I gotta figure out that axie thing. Crowns, mace, common item. Empty bottle, Novigrad longsword. And where... What happened? Did I grind your buddy into dust? Oh, you fell on top of him. <laughs> I don't need the empty bottle, but I will take the mace, and in fact, we will stop by Hattori's, see if I can sell that crap, and see if he got uh, any money back, and that will tell me whether or not I need to go into my stash and get things to sell him. Hello again, Hattori. Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? Um... Let me see what you got. And it better be coins. Oh, you're killing me. You're killing me, Hattori. You know what? You're going to have to go back to selling dumplings because you're doing much better economically selling dumplings. You're killing me. Okay, well, anyway, you can buy this crap. How long do I have to wait for you to uh, get some money? Any of this stuff really need repair? Not really. Okay. Farewell. So long. Who becomes a blacksmith to not make any money? And why, why is my mini map? Why are the white dots trailing? behind me on my mini-map? What is it? Aren't they supposed to... <laughs> Don't qu oh, There they go. Now they're leading the way. Okay, so I, I imagine I'm not going to be able to uh, go to my stash right away. Back, Ooh. All we wanted was... Don't give a flying fuck what you wanted. Get! Uh, I think the vagrants are getting uh, evicted. Alright. I'm going to take a moment again and save the game. Alright, let's... That was Zoltan, that wasn't Vandalion. Ooh. Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth! <laughs> I would have done the same thing had they touched my stash. Gear up in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to <laughs> put them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. We're not going to kill them, right? We're going to punch them to death? I can't... What do you mean I can't do it? Can't do, can't do that during combat. Oh, is that guy running off? Oh, jeez. Punch for a vagrant. Yeah, almost like we never left Virgin. Come on. What? Lost your nerve? <laughs> Is that guy leaving now? What about you? Are you leaving? Okay, there you go. <laughs> At least we didn't punch him to death. I'm pleased. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods ordained. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian lagers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. 
Something worrying you? Um, well, he's my good friend. He should hear about it. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh. Not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. We have a wee problem then. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned as you saw. I'm expecting to come home to a hot leg of boar and some cold ale. And what do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bombs. I've no clue what happened. Mm -hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. All right, and this would be the ground floor. Uh, if you don't mind, before I get too busy with that, I'm going to start on the... A note from a grateful muse. Over here. Okay, so I've got... I've got a saddle that needs to go in the stash. And a uh, succubus trophy. Um, and what do I have here for... This is superior saddle, stamina, 25 stamina... 45 stand. And what do I have in Roach? Um, that's one thing I haven't really thought about. And why do I have... Do I have more that can go... I still am very weighed down. Uh, I've got a lot of hides and stuff that could uh, be sold. I don't think I need to put those in the stash. Okay, um... Let me check. Reading someone else's letters. Let me check my inventory. And um, what do we have for a saddle here? Thirty-five stamina, a master crafted. Okay, so let's switch. If I didn't already, I put it in my stash. I got a dummy. All right, let's get back into the stash. Let's get the enhanced. Racing saddle, which is you, right? My visage and... red and hot. I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexterous digits on my soul's yearning cords. Dandelion is rather pretentious, isn't he? Okay, uh, what poet isn't, though? All right, um, there we go. Let's swap. And then we'll put that. In my... Boy, that is heavy. Okay, we'll put that in the stash. I guess all of those saddles are heavy. Okay, and I think that's all the interaction with my stash that I... Now, I... Really, there's something on the wall lighting up. I could go around, I suppose, and loot this stuff, but... Um, I feel like I'm taking Zoltan and uh, and Dandelion's stuff from them. What is that there? A letter from a female admirer for a vagrant or an admirer for Dandelion. Um, it must have been for one of the... The thrust of your hypnotic gaze left my visage red. Oh, this is what... Uh, isn't this what Zoltan was just reading? My vision is red and hot. The whole world suddenly set to spinning in a whirlwind of oblivion, and I plunged into pure ecstasy, imbibing its nectar, the music, the singing, you. For that one brief moment, I felt, felt as if I were the lute you so skillfully strummed and wanted nothing more than for you to put your dexterous digits on my soul yearning for chords. Soul's yearning for chords. Okay, yeah, that's uh, a bunch of crap. 
Okay, all of that stuff, that'll be here indefinitely. If I need that stuff, I can always come back to it. Now, let's start with the stuff that's glowing red. None of this verbena, yeah, whatever. Okay. Start at the beginning. Annual balladry contest. Silver laurel awarded to Master Dandelion. Prince okay. Harry themselves did the honors. And the feast afterwards to celebrate the laureates. Dandelion taught a swine to yodel and I... Ugh, another time. <laughs> From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like Dandelion. The fruit of the fruit of the vine. Okay, then. And that's his loot. Oops, me kicking stuff. Huh. This is the loot he got from the elves of Dolbathana. Aye. Must have been in a great rush to leave it behind. And was there not something lighting up red over here? No. Okay. Oh, yeah, there it is. Ten barrels of Tucson Dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm, nothing here. No, 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 that's exactly what we're looking for. It says planner. <laughs> that's rich, dandelion and planning. Starting to look like a man serious about his business. Okay, let's go there. Seems dandelion's taking the tavern business seriously. If you only knew. Gives it everything. Not seen him this obsessed ever. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Not interested in his romantic outings, that could help. Yeah. Hmm. Might be something Not a bad there. Idea. Dandelion's pretty loose lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. So, che. Wait a second, he only took one page. Sultan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because? Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Quest updated, broken flowers. I got a, I thought I already had a character entry for him, but okay. And no experience points or anything for that. Let's, um, let's look at, oops, let's look at Zoltan's entry. Oh, Corinne Tilly, we've got a few entry. Okay, interesting. Francis Bedlam, that's his real name, okay. Uh, Neuromancy, I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right. Magic art of deciphering the past and the future and the magic art of doing it really quickly. <laughs> so they appear in dreams. It's difficult for even a highly trained sorceress to master those born with the talent, however, excel at it without any formal education, such was the case of Corinne, Corinne, Corinne Tilly, whose fame as a dreamer, as such diviners are known, had spread far and wide. This gifted woman could not only dream of past events herself, but also induce revelatory dreams in persons searching for direction or answers to specific questions. These abilities proved to be of great use to Geralt in his, in his search. If you say so. All right, I read that, so mark it as read. The free city of Novigrad had known no king's rule for nearly 200 years. Francis Bedlam surely had this fact in mind when he anointed himself the king of beggars, a title that mocked the pomposity of crowned heads while simultaneously 
stealing a bit of said pomp for, for itself. Bedlam was a pragmatic man, a trait of great use in his profession, which involved managing a network of thieves, beggars, tramps, and street urchins that trickled through every part of the city. His contacts provided him with the freshest gossip and tastiest morsels of information, and the cut he took of his subjects' earnings guaranteed a sizable income for the maintenance of his court in the putrid grove. Francis despised fanaticism and prejudice in equal measure, which meant that mages fleeing the witchers, witch hunters' pincers often turned to him for protection. I feel as though I've read this. Um, okay, let's read Zoltan. A dwarf, a soldier of fortune, a veteran of the Battle of Brenna, an unassailable optimist, a committed altruist, when <laughs> he's not punching vagrants, out of his establishment, a lover of rough drinks and rougher songs, a master Gwent player, and above all, a dear and loyal friend to me and Geralt. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present Zoltan Chivay. Chivay? He first became fast friends, we first became fast friends years ago, when Geralt and I ran into Zoltan and the band he was leading at the time across war-stricken Riverdale. It proved our fate to cross paths many times after, and we eventually became inseparable companions, sticking together through good and ill. At our tale's beginning, Zoltan and I had gone into business together, running a Novigrad tavern called the Rosemary and Time. Okay, there you go. Nobody else here is new, right? And uh, I have... Oops. I have an update. Read Dandelion's Planner. Okay. And do I... Have, I must have that in inventory. Yes. Must be under quest items. Okay, let's read it. Rosa Var Atra. Now, isn't there an ambassador? Drawing a... Okay. There's an ambassador named Varatra. Didn't I get that from a notice board? Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with chility. A charming garden-enclosed villa in Gildorf. Okay. Now, is that where he... Is that where she is, or is that where he... Okay. Molly, though she, though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when grip, gripped in lust's embrace. <laughs> Gildorf, villa next to the morgue. Okay, so these must be their locations, yes? And Gildorf is... Is that like a... a uh, neighborhood in Novigrad? Vespula or Vespula. Though timid in looks, no adventure did did skip her. Okay. My heart melts when she asks, ever had a Big Dipper? Far corners, laundry near the mouth of the Pontar. Okay, Marabella. Though her cries are divine, when behind closed doors, standing on stage, her squawks are drowned by snores. <laughs> the fits near pauper squares. Yeah, these must all be neighborhoods in Novigrad. Ella Hall, or, yeah, I'll say that was close enough. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes, or be made a fool. Taylor shop across from the tannery. Okay, so I have no idea what order we should do this in. Let's go see Rosa Varatra, and I'm hoping that I have some kind of quest update from reading that. Yes, quest updated, Broken Flowers. Now, now I should have a list. Character entry added, Luisa Lavalette. I don't, what? I don't even remember reading about 450 experience, though, wow. Lisa Lavalette, was she wasn't, was she in my, in that list? Luisa, it's not Lisa, it's Luisa. Baroness Maria Luisa Lavalette was the talk of Tamaria in her time. 
This noble woman had been King Faltest's mistress and even bore him two illegitimate children. This caused quite the scandal and prompted several notable families to take up arms in revolt, only to be bloodily crushed by the king's forces, who took Lavalette Castle during a hard-fought siege. Okay. Um, so she's a mistress, but she has, her family has a castle named after them? Okay. Um, and why did I get that entry? What does, uh... What does my quest say now? Talk to Vespula. Talk to Zoltan. Okay. Um, talk to Rosa. Let's start. Um, I don't quite. This is all new, right? Um, Geralt had learned from the dreamer Corinne Tilly that Siri contacted me while in Novigrad. That's going to be all disorienting. That uh, <laughs> dandelion is dandelion is writing about just, uh, whatever. It's a, he thus made his way to the Rosarian Time, a charming establishment which I had. It's just weird that he's writing about this while I'm still looking for him. That's all. Establishment which I had inherited from an admirer of my poetry, for he quite rationally expected. Is that is Lavalette the admirer? Is that why I have okay? Expected to find me there. His search for Ciri seemed closer to a happy conclusion than ever before. Alas, fate had raised his hopes, only to dash them cruelly back to the ground. Geralt did not find me at my proprietorship. His despair... <laughs> this is just weird. It's, uh, his despair was partially lifted when he came across our old friend Zoltan Chevet. But the dwarf had just returned from a long journey and knew nothing of my fate or that of Ciri. Concern, concern wrinkling his brow... Zoltan helped Geralt search every corner of the establishment for clues where, about where I might be. Other than a few triflings, all they found was a planner containing notes about the women I had met with in days prior to my disappearance. They divided the names between them and ventured into the city to find the women and ask what they knew. Okay, so I know it's, it's getting me to start at the top and then come back to talk to Zoltan. All right, well, let's, let's, I was going to go down to the bottom and start with her since she was at the top of the, uh, the planner thingy, um, but, um, I guess it doesn't, it really doesn't mad, matter, um, okay, so there we go, we'll go talk to Vespula, and where would I find Vespula? I would find her not too far away, okay, very good. Let's go do it.